Hi everyone. In this video, we will see how to integrate Amazon Lex uh, chatbot into our website. So Amazon uh, does come with some basic UI or a chatbot widget that you know you can deploy your chatbot and then you will get some kind of a, a JavaScript code snippet that you can put it into your code. But I mostly don't like that basic widget that comes with and even deployment is quite tricky. So I do use this particular service called communicate and most of my client use this particular service. The reason big, it is very easy to integrate your Lex chatbot using this particular service. The second thing, the UI is very good compared to, you know, uh, what you see here. And the third thing that you get a dashboard where you can see all the conversation your bot, you know, uh, has with your user. So that is uh, one of the good thing. So this is a paid service but it is worth so usually you can go and uh, log in if you want to just taste and see some demo you can log in this particular communicate with your you know google account and i think you will have demo for a few days so i will be using one of my let's say google account okay so here on the left side you could see uh, this is like a bot integration if you click on the bot integration and if you click on the manage bots here you will see you know um, the all the bot you have so this is one of the bot i created during the testing and if you look at the bot integration there are a couple of ways as i mentioned that you can create you know google dialog flow there is this uh, amazon lakes and there are other uh, ways you can create your bot so we're going to focus on this particular thing which is amazon lex so let's click on it and since amazon lex currently there are two active you know versions now the latest one is the lex v2 whatever the bot we have built is using the lex v2 version so we're going to use that particular thing to integrate your lex here the first thing you need is your access id and the secret key associated with the account which you have created this particular bot so i just kept it handy so let me copy my access key and secret key there so this is my access key and this is my secret key so once i copy this thing you know it can make request to uh, aws and we should see let's let me select the region the same region where my bot is there so this is you know i think this is this uh, us east one virginia region so i'm selecting that one and if everything is fine then you should see your bots come in automatically because they're going to fetch you which bot you want to use so we will use this you know hotel booking bot because this is the bot we have built and you can select the alias associated with that bot you can select anything so let me select this particular alias once you get this information you can click on save and proceed you can give some different name to it okay uh, maybe i can put let's say hotel bot only And you can select, you know, one of the uh, things you want. Like so this, I think this is the default. I'm going to pick this one. Click save and proceed. And then whether you know, do you want to uh, allow you know, a bot transfer a control to human in some cases? So currently we are not going into that. So let's have only bot. Click on the finish bot setup. And now we can try our bot. So you can click here and you can see how it will look on your website. You know if you want to use this particular bot you will also get this particular link that you can share with other people and you know they can test your bot so see here is the bot is loading so this is our hotel booking bot it is asking me what city will you be staying in so let me type something and then it is asking what day do you want to check in so i can put some date here And the next thing you know how many days or nights you will be staying let me put some value here and then finally oh yeah it's going to ask me some room type let me select one of this particular room type and then finally it will ask for the confirmation and i say i'm okay with this information and okay this is how this particular button you can see we get a very good ui that you know you can uh, put it in your website and we will see how we can get this particular widget on our own website so if you go to dashboard again you know as, as i was mentioning that you can even see the conversation that your uh, bot had so yeah this is one of our hotel bot conversation that we just had you know you can go and see what our, our conversation it had so this is really good to see you know how user interact with your bot 
the next thing we want we want some you know uh, yeah we want to take this particular bot so let me go to the dashboard here and you see we have bots what is this yeah this is our hotel bot some kind of you know things uh, it is showing Yeah, we want to integrate this particular board. So let me go to dashboard again and see am I missing something? Or there is other way we can go to here, click on install. And then, okay, we will get set this code snippet that we can use it. So let's copy this code snippet. You can see we have to put this particular code snippet in your website before your body tag ending so i have an you know html page here if you could see it has nothing just a body tag and one h1 tag saying the chatbot demo and if you see how that web page looks here i'm looking this bot.html which you could see it has only this heading so let's put that copied code snippet here okay so i just copied that script tag i'm not making any changes as per their guideline i am putting it just above the closing body tag I have saved the page. Let's go and refresh our web page. Right. So you could see once I refresh, something pops up here. This is what your bot, which comes here. So it is in testing phase. That's why it is asking me to start new conversation. So we can see this is how it is going to look because it's on now our own website on my own HTML page. Right. So we can do the same thing here. Right. We can drag it it and you know it start asking me the same questions that uh, it is going to ask in the next video i'm going to show you how to you know uh, improve this particular uh, interface okay we did not ask user to type everything we can give some buttons where they can select between let's say queen king and deluxe so that is something i'm going to cover in the next video that how to make user to just select one of the button and not typing or anything like this. You could see we can have the same conversation our own HTML page where we have integrated, right? This is pretty easy and it doesn't matter whether, you know, uh, this is normal HTML page or you are integrating in React or anywhere you can integrate. Even if you go to their documentation, you can see all the places in the website also, you can get code for Angular, React, Vue and all, but this is simple thing. You can Put it in an iframe or whatever the simplest thing is copy the script tag and just put it there right? this is what i told you initially that i use this service because it makes it easy to integrate have a good ui and the best thing is you can see how people are having conversation with your work